All right, walking in a winter wonderland, they're playing. I'm putting down some fertilizer, put down organic choice garden fertilizer, and here's some bone meal. You can see if you look close enough, yeah, there's uh, webbing because me, uh, some kind of caterpillar, not, well, not, well, what do you call it? I guess a, a beetle or something, probably a beetle got in here and was eating the bone meal living in it don't see any any living ones but somehow they got in not gonna hurt me so I'm gonna put that on the garden here we go where's my scooper here it is it's kinda stopped snowing now that was just the preliminary flurries so here we go, grab some bone meal. You gotta scoop this on low to the ground because it's very powdery and it'll blow away. And then I have to dig this under. Not really dig it, I'm gonna cultivate it under, only in the top couple inches. So this will really not do too much. Now the ground has to be about 50 degrees really Fahrenheit to uh, really get any bacterial action and that's what is required to uh, utilize fertilizers and the roots too so anyway here we go yeah the roots actually produce chemical reactions that dissolve the <coughs> minerals and the stuff in the soil to obtain their nutrients neat stuff all right so I'm just putting it on by eye really can't put too much on oops can't put too much on yeah oops here we go okay uh, Metropolitan Opera Tales of Hoffman is coming on not an opera fan probably be switching the channel now alright there we go so there's the pattern of what I've got. Maybe I need a little more over here. Uh, there we go. There we it. There it is. Uh, what time is it? It is, uh, oh, it's one o'clock. So, here we go. All right, I got it all cultivated. I thought I would just show you the cultivator. I bought this. The handle, oops, yeah, the handle was original. And then here's the cultivator part down here. The blue, let's hold it still. The blue part, it's got adjustable tines, three tines. Yeah, the screws are kind of hidden in there. But what I did to modify it, I took a piece of tool steel and cut the same paper on it that is on the end of the, uh, hole and then I took a piece of drill rod which is oil hardening tool steel and I brazed it in there I did this at home I had to stick the whole thing in the gas burner because my propane torch wasn't hot enough to get the whole mass of the metal hot oh, I probably did this 20 years ago and then here's the the new cap that I made brazed it in there as well so what I've done is extended the cultivator so that when I'm standing here and holding it at the right angle, it's parallel to the ground. It didn't work that way when it was brand new. So, I modified it. And I finished cultivating the whole bed. I didn't rake it yet. Now I just want to show you my dibble. I made this as, as well. This is an old snow shovel handle. The shovel broke. But here's, uh, let me knock the dirt off. Okay, here's the dibble. This is, uh, a stainless steel I think it's 440 C I forget but anyway you can see I drilled some uh, I drilled a hole and countersunk it the same thing with the nut it goes on the other side so that it's pretty straight I mean flush with the surface I cut a taper on the outside and on the inside yeah let's pull it back a little bit and that's a dibble all right how to take all the files off this because it was full back here's the dibble I was showing it before. Anyway, I've raked this bed out. My son did the computer work for me. 
Now you just push this in the ground. Boom, like that. Oh, I'm not even showing you, sorry. Just push it in the ground, like so. And you're left with a hole. Now you just drop the cloves right in there. So, it works out pretty good. What time is it? It's 1.35. And it has stopped snowing. But it's getting chilly. Because I'm not moving around as much. And i got to get back to work. Oh. Yeah, okay. Is that going? Yes. All right. I dibbled in the holes. There's 234 of them. I have not planted the garlic yet, but there they are. <clears throat> now, my wife divided these cloves up. Here they are. Oh, okay, let me take my... Well, here, these are the biggest. There's 100 here. You can see how big some of them are. You know, that, that's a pretty good-sized clove of garlic. They, they taste so good. Oh, man. And they just, these are the medium right here. There's 100 there. And then there's some uh, smaller ones here. I don't know how many there are. I think there's about 60. So I've got more than enough. We'll eat what's left over. You eat the smallest, and you plant the biggest. And all you do here, I'll just, ah, I'll show you. Might as well. You just take the, clo the clove. Ah, uh, I guess it's not going to work too well with my glove. You want to plant the roots down. See, the pointy end is up. You drop it in the hole. There it went. That's it. Real simple. If you... Oh! Almost lost that one. There. If you plant it upside down, it'll grow. Eh. They're pretty neat. Well, but get in there. Well, that's a pretty big one. That didn't go. And these gloves, I'm going to have to get something else. And I'm going to have to put on a different coat because now I'm really not moving a lot and I'm getting cold. <laughs> so it looks like a whole bunch of... Uh, Carp not carpenter bees, but some kind of a, a boring bee or a digger wasp. <laughs> Made a whole bunch of holes here. Anyway, let me uh, plant my garlic, get something warmer on. Alright, it's 2.30, and now it has really started snowing all over again. My neighbor just told me that before the uh, track of the storm has changed, and we could possibly get 18 inches of snow. I haven't heard it for myself. But that's, uh, that's great. I'm happy for that. I like it. So, it's all planted. Got the, all the holes filled up. Now I just rake it over and I got to put the leaves on. So now I have to hurry up. The ground has been freezing. I stepped on it a little bit because I couldn't span that too much. Anyway, there we go. Yeah, look at this. Can you see the snow? That's all right. Let me just shade this from... Uh, I got to stand still. You can see it. It's starting to stick on the ground. It's white there. Yeah, neat. All right. 18 inches. What's that? That's, uh, that's roughly a half a meter. That's good. Okay. All right. It's, it's 3.30. I got the leaves on. I stuffed them between the, the rows. I don't know. It's about a foot or so deep. Now I'm going to put this plastic sheet on. And then on top of that, I'll be putting, I have back here some uh, uh, chain link fence that are like old gates. And there's a piece of screen uh, from a sieve or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, I'll put that on the top so it doesn't blow away. This is my compost pile over here. Yeah, it's coming down, all right. Neighbor's getting out his uh, snowblower, getting it uh, started up get it ready yeah I haven't heard the weather yet but they I am looking forward if it's 18 inches that's great great for me all right so got to get to work all right it is uh, 10 minutes till 4 and I'm all done now I have to go down to work and feed my fish so anyway here's my garlic this is uh, December 19th. I have plastic. I've got the leaves, and I've got the plastic on top of the leaves. Then I have the, uh, the fencing holding the plastic down. And I've got boards on the side holding the plastic down. And it's all set. Right around February, 1st of February or so, I'm going to pull it all off. And then it's on its own.
All right.